I'm going to ask you a pointed question that uh, is new to the uh, to the NFL uh, Super Bowl conversation scene because uh, it involves Brock Purdy. And I'll just put yeah. it point blank to you. Can the 49ers, in your estimation, win it all with Brock Purdy as their quarterback? What do you think? Absolutely. Yeah. I absolutely think they can. Um, it's one start, one game, one start. And you know, finishing a game out in another game, and I know people go, "Well, how the hell can you say that with that sample size?" Yep. Again, I'm not looking for to sit back in the weeds and wait for that gotcha moment to go say to say, "Hey, I told you, right. I told you, Brock couldn't do it." <laughs> He's got a great offensive line, a be, you know, a, a, a really a cachet of running backs, provided that Debo will be okay once the postseason comes around. He's got playmakers on the perimeter. He's got a hellacious defense that he can lean on to say, hey, look, man, it's okay to punt. It's okay. We'll get you the ball back. We'll get you another shot. We'll get you another swing at it. And the kid himself has shown that I can execute this offense in the context of of how Kyle wants it executed. And when those plays happen that come outside of structure, I've shown you so far, so far, that I can get that done too. So why should I why should I doubt why should I sit here and just wait for him to make that mistake that you know even Patrick Mahomes will make it sometimes Josh Allen will make it sometimes hell Jalen Hurts will make it sometimes why should I wait for that to say hey I told you I think as long as he plays within you know the structure of this offense and they don't start you know having guys drop like flies to where he doesn't have the support around him yeah I think he can make it I think he can help take them to the Super Bowl and not just because he doesn't screw it up Rich. But because he does make a play, that he does do something that isn't because Kyle's a genius as far as play calling, or 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 C Mac isn't you know is is the best running back you know dual threat in the, in the NFL, or because Debo is just as tough as hell. It's because Brock Purdy can actually make a play, because Brock Purdy's actually smart enough and talented enough to actually make a play. God forbid in the NFL where you know only a few people can make plays. No, I know he's Mister Irrelevant. But he's also a guy who has shown you that, and we've seen this time and time again in the league, just because of where you were drafted, you know, scouts aren't 100% correct, man. They just aren't. And, and all the guys who are 6'5 and run 4'4 four, four and have cannon arms aren't the only ones that can make plays that go down in history. We've seen that time and time again. And people don't want to believe it. I happen to believe in the kid because he hasn't given me any reason not to, and he hasn't given them any reason not to. Well, what was the evaluation of him at the Combine throughout the talent evaluation portion of our calendar this uh, this past spring? Do you recall? what was? Yeah, well, I mean, he, he was a guy who – it's the traits. It's the trait aspect of it that caps people's excitement for a guy like that. He doesn't look like Josh. He doesn't look like Patrick. He doesn't throw it like that. He doesn't have the national, you know – um, attention and or production or stage that a guy like Joe Burrow had coming out. You know, he's shorter, smaller, doesn't have a big arm, doesn't run a big 40, can't throw the ball off platform like a guy like Zach Wilson did in his, in his pro day. He doesn't have all that stuff. So they fall down and they fall down and they fall down and they fall down. And next thing you know, they get put into this box of, well, ideal backup, maybe third, you know, third team quarterback who'll stick around for eight, nine, 10, 11 years, like a chase Daniel. And he'll always be good for three or four games, but he'll never be able to lead you to the promised land over a 17 game season. That right there sounds like your typical prototype cookie cutter of scouting report on a kid like Brock Purdy. And maybe in the end that is true, but for right now, for this stretch that they need him for, because of the team that's around him, he could definitely lead them to the promised land as long as the supporting cast around him is still good. You know, I'm not, I'm not sitting here trying to tell anybody he'll be able to do Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen type stuff mm-hmm. or Jalen Hurts. I'm not saying that. I'd be foolish to say that. I'm not, you know, I'm not unrealistic. But, see, the, the cool thing about football is that as much as we try to individualize this game, it's still a team game. And... He's part of a real good team. And if a, and real good teams ultimately are what win Super Bowls. And I think that's really, that's really what San Francisco is banking on 
and what they're going to ride as far as they can ride. Well, you also just described Jalen Hurts on, on the Eagles too, but Hurts is yep. uh, is 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 has shown uh, MVP quality, you know, game changing, right. generationally talented ability. And so you mm-hmm. mentioned the word hellacious uh, for the 49ers defense. Cowboys, Niners, do, do, do they have an, an equal shot to, you know, beat the Eagles in a one-and-done situation, you think? They sure do. Okay. They sure do. Yeah. And you know what? And what it is with Philly is kind of like what Washington showed you. Um, the great equalizer for every team, and this is why coaches, when they talk about it, sometimes we roll our eyes and go, God, just give me something else. Right. Give me something else that's the key to the game. But they always come back to one thing, Rich. They always come back to turnover differential. Like we have, if we can have more swings at it than you, our odds go up exponentially. Especially if we can get more swings at it in terms of trying to score touchdowns on short fields. So opportunistic turnovers, and that's how Washington beat Philadelphia. And that's the one thing, along with injuries, which you never wish on a team. But right. those are the two things that level the playing field. And ball security is something that every guy at some point in time has a lapse with. And it's just whether or not you're conscious enough to take advantage of it. And I think that's how you beat Philly, first and foremost. Now, there's the people who who will question, who are going to want to say, hey, well, once we get to the postseason and the stakes ratchet up, is Jalen Hurts going to lose that cool, calm demeanor that I have an answer for everything, hey, keep hating on me, keep doubting on me type of attitude that he has right now? Will Will he be able to stay as cool as he is now? Well, we'll see. I wouldn't bet against him. <laughs> I wouldn't bet against him. But you punch at that ball, you give your offense a couple more cracks at it, you don't let them throw the ball over the top on you, you keep the sidebars, you know, the side rails on that running game and don't let them get on the perimeter and have Jalen going crazy on you. Yeah, you can beat them. San Francisco can, is fully capable of beating them. Dallas is fully capable of beating them. Washington always showed you. People don't think we're anything, and we, we beat them. So, yeah, they can be beat, but you have to be on it for three, three and a half hours. And um, not every team is up to that. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku Channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.